Hey, what's going on guys? I'm coming to you today with a little talk through of a deck I've been working on and I really love this combination of Luminara, Single Die, Padawan, and Jedi Acolyte. Now I think this is a really really cool combination because of the focus on the Acolyte and his ability. And I just as an idea of what this can do, I just did 10 damage to Palpatine on turn 1. And of course maybe it was just a little bit of luck, but uh, and the key was, I'm going to talk about what I have in the deck right now, but I pulled a light bow and I was able to get that on the Padawan turn 1. Um, because the Padawan gets, gets it cheaper, you can do that. So we rolled, um, actually I think, what did I roll? I rolled, I, I rolled a 2 and something over here and something over here. I think maybe, maybe blank blank or whatever. Then I rolled the light bow. Oh no, no, she rolled a focus. Right, she rolled a focus. And so they, these were blank or whatever. Um, what I was, Palpatine had shielded up and so I was able to make this a 3 because of his ability. Changed all of them. So I made her a 2, made him a special and made Luminara a special. And he has a really good chance of rolling focus to give Luminara a special that makes even a Padawan's one damage a three damage. So it's really, really nice. Or if you need shields, or rather money, or, or whatever, you can totally do that. Not shields. Uh, but, so, basically I resolved special. So I resolved the light bow first, removed the three shields from Palpatine, then did two. So that's effectively five damage. This is gone. And then I did this and it was another five. So increase the value by two, unless it's a non-unique, then increase it by three. So that, that was another five damage. So it was 10 damage to Palpatine on turn one. And then on turn two, I was able to kill him by rolling another focus on the Acolyte. It's just insane. Uh, I'm gonna talk about what else I have in this deck, although not much of it came out. But the idea of this deck being, um, there's a lot of stuff I still need. I don't have force speed, so force speed would definitely go in here. But we do have the light bow, I have two Makashi trainings. I have um, two, for right now, I have two force trainings. I don't think they're really needed. They can be swapped out. Uh, I'm going to do all the equipment first. We have two lightsabers. That's definitely a given. I've got a one with the force because I've got throwaway characters. Uh, and then to go along with that, we also have um, Noble Sacrifice because this would be amazing against Palpatine. Uh, I have two force, uh, force protections and there's, uh, you know, and one of the reasons for that too is that it also has a discard. So if the Jedi Acolyte rolls discard, then he can be a little bit more dangerous. It's just a nice little bonus. It's not the main reason, but this doesn't have to be there. But I like the shields. There's a lot of shields in this deck. I'm also going to be running two reposts, but let's finish that. Uh, Luke Skywalker also. Uh, Luke, and then a force heal. I would love to have a second force heal. I only have one so far. So we're doing that. Uh, a really nice card to go into this build is I've got two Synchronicities. This is one of the newer ones. And Synchronicity is uh, if you have melee damage and shields, and there's a lot of that in this deck. Uh, a lot of the well, a lot of shields on the support cards. Um, since some of them are expensive, I'm, I'm trying out Destiny as well. Um, if, and I've got Use the Force uh, just as general. You know, generally good. Since there is some ranged damage, uh, I've got misdirection. I have a little bit of a uh, little bit of everything there. Single Jedi robes, um, two it binds all things. Those are always good. Two reposts because I got a lot of shields. Deflect is always good. I got two of those. I could swap that out a little bit if I wanted to change up. Uh, got a mind trick, and then a my ally as the force. Uh, I really like this one too. Uh, res resolve one of your blue dice without removing it from the pool. Uh, and then to Power of the Force. And Power of the Force is uh, going to be good with three characters and a lot. There's a lot of upgrades in this deck. Uh, but yes, so basically the key here is Jedi Acolyte, Padawan, and Luminara. Uh, I, I really like it. And uh, I might have just been very, very lucky with, uh, you know, with playing it today but uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Also, if you haven't already, there's still a chance to enter and you can win the giveaway we have going on right now. We've got Jin Urso and Director Krennic for the first place. All you have to do is to enter to win these is to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or any of my Destiny videos. I'll be announcing the winner next week and two runner-ups will also get Director Krennic, one each. So three people are gonna win something. Maybe you'll be one of them. Uh, there's still time to enter, so like this video, subscribe, you have to be a subscriber, you have to leave a comment. Uh, so let me know what you think, guys. Thank you guys so much, and have a wonderful day.